So tonight I read something a little interesting over at dorkly.com. If you haven't checked it out, check out Dorkly. It's a great little site. There is a theory, and this is this is just a theory. This is just a not even a rumor, just a theory about the Suicide Squad's Joker. Jared Leto plays a pretty different Joker, and a lot of people have been very kind of on the line about it. People like it, people hate it. I, for one, actually have loved Jared Leto's Joker ever since I've seen the pictures, ever since I heard he was going to play the Joker. At first, the knee-jerk response was, Ugh. but as soon as I started thinking about it, I liked Jared Leto as a Joker. I about figured he could play it. He's played some great characters, and he's been known to get into character, and that's kind of scary, especially after Heath Ledger playing the Joker. So, rumor has it, as the title of my video says, that the Joker in Suicide Squad could be very well none other than Jason Todd himself. Now, if you're not familiar with the Batman universe, Jason Todd was Robin. Actually, he took the mantle of Robin after Dick Grayson went ahead and left, did his whole Nightwing, <laughs> Nightwing thing, and was captured by the Joker and basically brutally murdered by Joker. Now, I know this seems a little odd, but this actually explains a lot of things. If... if Jason Todd turns out to be the Joker in this movie. It does explain a lot of things. It explains the tats. Now, <laughs> to know Jason Todd, like, first thing in the, the leaked trailer we got from Comic-Con, Jared Leto says, Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. And this, the site kind of goes into that a little bit and kind of shows when Jason Todd gets the royal crap beaten out of him by Joker with a crowbar. And he kind of says, this is going to hurt you a lot more than it does me. And it kind of rings true. It's kind of an interesting theory. Now, uh, another thing, in The Killing Joke, Joker was the Red Hood. Actually, he was Red Hood tricked into committing some crimes and dropped into a vat of acid. That's when he kind of twi became twisted, became the Joker, because in that comic, he was kind of normal Joe Schmo, not wanting to, you know, not really wanting to do anything bad, and it's kind of twisted him. So, this change from Joker to Red Hood would be an interesting take. This actually makes me think about the Arkham Knight game. Now, if you haven't beat Arkham Knight or you haven't played it and you don't want any spoilers, please uh, disregard this part. Uh, mute it for a minute. But if you look here, Jason Todd actually has a big giant J on his, on his cheek. And that's the same thing with Joker's tattoo, which is kind of interesting. I mean, it very well could mean Jason. It could mean Joker. Also, another tattoo that he has is some feathers. Now, we don't know if this is Robin feathers or what, but it, it looks like feathers from, from this point of view. Could explain these tattoos. Still doesn't really explain the other tattoos, but, um, I mean, the, the article goes on to kind of talk about it a little bit. Also, in the Batman vs. Superman trailers, you see Robin's... Jason Todd's outfit, ha ha ha, jokes on you, Batman. And the news article, Bruce Wayne's holding, you let your family die. Could be taunting by the Joker. Because, I mean, you think about it, Ben Affleck is going to be in Suicide Squad. Or, not Ben Affleck, but Batman in general. We, uh, ba ben Affleck has been caught on set of Suicide Squad. So we'll see. But anyway, that's really what's going on here. A lot of speculation here, and it could be interesting. Now, let me ask you this. Could you see Joker actually turning out to be Jason Todd? Does this put a whole new spin on it for you? Me, personally, I don't... I'm mixed. I really am, because... I kind of want to see it turn out to be Jason Todd because I would love to see that that layer of depth to him a little bit. And, I mean, it would kind of explain why he is tatted up a bit and why he is radically different. 
And you think about it, this doesn't have to be the old Joker who uh, changed Harley, because you think about it, in this Suicide Squad trailer, we saw him with Harley. He changes her in this movie, so this is an all-new take. It could have been Jason Todd that changed her. That would be kind of interesting. So, please, sound off with your comments below. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see Jason Todd as the Joker, or do you think this, this article is nothing but a bunch of bullshit? I'd love to know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.